Sitting on over to the back of your mat and bringing your hands to heart, setting your intention for this practice today. Slowly dropping the hands to the tops of the thighs, arching the back, looking up towards the sky, and then rounding the back, chin to chest, taking our gentle seated cat cow. Inhale, lift the head, pull the shoulder blades back, exhale, round the spine, closing the eyes here, and just beginning to move with the breath as you round the spine, pulling the scapula away from each other. And then as you arch the back, look up towards the sky, drop those shoulders away from the ears. Nice and slow, intentional movement here. We're just reconnecting with our body. A few more rounds, arch the back, hunch the shoulders. Inhale, lift the chest. Working with the breath. And now we're gonna to begin to circle the spine. So keeping the hands on the thighs and coming forward, lifting the chest, open the heart, and then rounding back and over to the side in a circular motion. So we're circling the spine at the same time as we come forward, arch the back, look up towards the sky, and then as we round, rolling those shoulder blades forward, chin to chest. We're bringing mobility into the entire spine from the lumbar, thoracic, cervical, warming up the entire back and upper body. Work with the breath here. As you inhale, rounding the spine, chin to chest, exhale, lift the head. Keeping your eyes closed and trusting the inner flow, working with the breath and the body, synchronizing your movements with each inhale and every exhale. As you round the spine, imagine the scapula pulling away from each other, creating space and length throughout the back. And as you open up the chest, exhaling out, drop the shoulders away from your ears, elongating the neck. Continue on here for a few more circles. Wonderful. Making your way back over to center, neutral spine, and coming onto your forearms and elbows, dropping the hips, extending the legs out behind you, gentle arch with the back, baby cobra. Let the legs lie heavily on the ground. The feet will naturally fall apart. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Imagine there's a string pulling you up from the crown of your head gaze upwards or eyes closed, giving yourself a moment here. Now dropping the head down, gaze towards the sternum, lengthening the back and then pressing into your forearms, sitting the hips back, Coming up onto the feet, drop the heels and sit the hips on the backs of the feet in our yogic squat. Hands to heart center, elbows to the insides of the knees, shoulders away from the ears as we breathe here. This is a great stretch for releasing out any negative emotions that we've been holding on to, anything we're ready to let go of or that no longer serves us. Taking a bind towards the right now, so reaching the right arm around the right knee and the left arm comes behind the back. You can grab onto the wrists or just let the hands lie on the ground. Switching sides now, reaching the right arm behind your back, 
Left arm comes around the knee, once again clasping the hands or letting the hands hang loose. Gaze upwards as we inhale and as we exhale, releasing the forearms onto the ground, walking forward and coming into our next deep hip opening, emotion releasing stretch, frog posture. Opening up the hips by inching the knees apart. If you're feeling any pain throughout the legs, you can use support by placing a blanket or pillow underneath each knee. Once you find a comfortable position, dropping the hips down towards the mat, keeping the ankles in line with the knee and releasing the chest forward. Finding that spot, we can feel the stretch deeply through the hamstrings and hip flexors. When you're ready, release the belly to the ground, gentle back bend pointing the feet towards your head. Pressure and weight on the forearms and elbows, not your wrists. Looking upwards, creating a nice rounded position with the entire back. Slowly releasing the feet to the ground, extending the legs tucking the toes and rolling over onto your back now, hugging the right knee into the chest and extending the left knee out. We're gonna use our pointer finger and middle finger and thumb to grab the toe. From here, lifting the heel up toward the sky, happy baby on the right leg. Pulling the right knee in towards your chest, making sure the left hip is still grounded. Now, grabbing the left leg with the fingers, bringing it in towards the chest, lifting up now through both heels while pressing the knees down, keeping the low back grounded, the head flat on the mat, with each exhale, letting the knees fall a little further apart towards the ground, increasing the stretch and opening up a little deeper into the hips. Working with the breath, as you exhale, drop the right leg and pulling the left knee in towards your chest. So just the left leg this time. Keeping the right hip grounded, the right arm lies on the mat next to your leg. Connecting with the stillness as you find that point where you can really feel the stretch. Slowly dropping the left leg down, releasing the left arm to the mat, letting the hands gently fall open. Inner Shavasana. Pulling the shoulders down away from the ears. Feet loosely roll out to either side. The entire body feels heavy, melting into the mat. Letting go, letting your body just be. The eyes softly closed, the whole face relaxed no tension, just complete relaxation. From here, you can either come back to seated or stay in Shavasana as long as you need. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this practice and have a wonderful rest of your day and week. Namaste.